if you're an egyptian and you live in egypt please i would like to know what present day egypt is like on women is it as stifling as it is portrayed in this book then in 1975 hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is uchi and if this is your first time on this channel and you're not subscribed yet please click on the subscribe button down below so you get notified whenever i post a new video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to this channel i hope you're enjoying the content that i'm posting on this channel and i also hope you're reading as well guys so in this video i'm going to be reviewing the book Woman at Point Zero by Egyptian author Nawal El Sadawi. So this book was published in the year 1975 and it is originally written in Arabic but in 1983 it was translated to English by Sharif Hetata. So guys, this book is set in Egypt and it is based on real life events. It tells the story of Fidos. So Fidos is a woman in a Cairo prison and she has been sentenced to die. So the author actually met with this individual and you know got her story and decided to make it into a book. And guys, I mean, this book is is heavy it will have your emotions running raw and i mean guys anyway let me just tell you a bit of what um, this story contains so fidos has had a very tough life so the men in her life have been very ruthless to her from um, her deadbeat father to an uncle who sexually abused her before selling her to um, an old man who was old enough to be her grandfather and the man didn't treat her right then she had to run away to the city and then she met this guy who she felt oh was a good samaritan but in the end this man just ended up using her and even sharing her to his friends for sexual relations and then when she got her own independence from this guy she um, started working and she met this other guy again Ibrahim and she thought herself to be in love with this guy but it just ended up that this guy was using her for his own selfish reason so at first it just felt like Ibrahim was um, a godsend to her a charismatic individual but he just had a different ace up, up his sleeves before she finally met um, her pimp so um it was her pimp that she killed that made her land in prison and guys the circumstances surrounding um Fidel's story is one that is very very tragic she has mostly been been used as an object to satisfy men's sexual desires and you know she worked as a prostitute for the longest she met this um individual who taught her um how to know her worth as a prostitute so she was actually thriving in this prostitution business but then the man who eventually became her pimp had to just come and spoil it with the talk that okay a woman cannot survive on her own that he, she needed a protector even though she said she didn't need it but i say Fidel's life is just very crazy and this is someone who just wanted to study someone who wanted to have a good education but just because she wasn't that privileged she didn't have this for herself she did have an education but um the education that she had wasn't enough to get her a very good job so she was just working in administration as one of the less hands and even when she decided to leave prostitution because of of how prostitutes are viewed in the society um, um when she um started working doing a decent job it didn't fetch her enough money as she would have gotten if she was still a prostitute but she was bent on living a good life but she met this ibrahim and he just you know with the heartbreak she just went back to the prostitution fidelity story is um, a compelling story and it sees the rate of patriarchy in the egyptian society and even in the author's notes we get to see egypt in the eyes of um, the author we get to even see egypt in the eyes of fidels and we get to see how how it is on women so women are stifled in that egyptian society and i would say maybe this is because they are muslims and we all know that islam is um, is quite a conservative religion so i get it at that point but you know 
Patriarchy is not just an Egyptian problem, it's an African problem. Bringing it down to Africa is just one very big problem and, and what actually bothers me in this book is the fact that women are just made to be objects of um, labor and pleasure alone. So women are so much suppressed in this society and um, I know this book was written a long time ago but I do not know how the situation is now but if I'm to compare what we have available in this book and what we have here in Nigeria, I'll say the women here in Nigeria were even lucky because that environment is very very stifling. I mean if we move to that environment, God forbid, we would not survive and this book is a very very tragic book and the author is just one powerhouse. She's just one very strong woman who is very strong will and she even talked about how she herself, that is Nawal El Sadawi, had been imprisoned. Yeah, she had been imprisoned because of um, her opinions, because of her stance. I'd say she has a very very impressive resume. She's one woman people should look up to, like uh, people should strive to be like or even surpass her i feel like um the title of this book is very befitting of the story because fidel's is she's at point zero she's at a point where she doesn't even care about living anymore she just wants the dead to just come and take her so that she can be at peace with herself she can finally be at peace because her life has just been from one chaos to the other and um, I do not know how the Egyptian society is now, but if you are an Egyptian and you live in Egypt, please, I would like to know what present day Egypt is like on women. Is it as stifling as it is portrayed in this book then in 1975? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And guys, that's just basically it about this book. If you're ready to cry, did I cry in this book? Um. I'm not so sure now because I read this book over two months ago, but I just know that I just had this sad thing. This book is a tragedy. So it's possible you cry, just depend on how fragile you are. So um, if you've read this book, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. This book is, is a very beautiful read and I recommend it 100%. You should read this book. Do not forget to like this video, share this video and also subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys in my very next video. Thank you so much for coming to my pep talk. Bye. <laughs>